watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. Hello Pisces and welcome to your 2018 year ahead reading. So, 
Okay, I know it's been an interesting time for you, as with everyone. And um, in 2018, you are going to have um, a shift in perspective, a huge shift in perspective, because you are going to have Saturn, which has been in your 10th house, giving you discipline in the area of your career, your legacy, what you came here to do. You're going to have it moving out and moving into your 11th house. So over the last few years or so, last two and a half to three years, you've been having a good look at yourself and what you believe you came here to do. And you've had tests and you've had shifts and you've had obstacles and you've had restrictions and you've had stops and starts and you've questioned yourself at times and sometimes it's changed and it's evolved beautifully and sometimes it's been stopping and starting again and so there's been a lot of self-questioning in terms of what you came here to do what work you should be doing what career you should have what you should be giving back to the world and those have been where your toughest lessons have been and also where your deepest insights have come. And so your level of maturity in that area now will be taking you, as Saturn moves into your 11th house, out into the wider community. Because you have such a strong sense now of what it is you came here to do, you will now have a very powerful sense of who it is you came here to do it for, what community you belong in. You will, that's what you will be developing and growing over the next two and a half to three years. You'll be finding your tribe, finding your community. You'll either be finding the group of people who will be receptive to what you've come here to, to give, the work you came to do, or the group of people that you've come here to, to do that work with, or both. Or you'll just be finding a better sense of your place in the world. So your, your work might have changed a lot in the past few years. You will have matured, you will have grown up, you will have seen yourself differently. Even if you haven't had those challenges, you will have come to a place where you think, ah, okay, that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm about, that's who I am. That's, that's my legacy. And then you will see a flowering of your sense of belonging in a particular community and in your life, in your work, in your mission and purpose and in your world. So a greater sense of belonging developing and that may come with some changes, with some challenges, with some fits and starts but this time because um, Saturn is in its own sign it's going to be much more harmonious, much less bumpy, much less um, button pressing and, and, and difficult. There are going to be lessons that are almost a pleasure to learn. Okay? learning where you belong, learning where you fit in. So you've had Jupiter in your eighth house, which has been about intimacy and trust and boundaries and where do you feel safe? Who do you let in? Who do you not let in? You know, are you going to just suddenly disappear to the other side of the world to get away from people? Or are you going to learn how to coexist? And, and Because what a lot of people don't understand about you, Pisces, is that you're so sensitive, you're usually empathic, and you're actually feeling the words that they're saying before they even say them. So if you have, feel a heavy sense of obligation, you'll try to get away from that as quickly as possible because you'll be feeling it as a pressure, as a, a lead weight on top of you. So you've been learning how to handle some of those um, tensions between who you want to be with, where you want to be with them, how you want to be within yourself and how to protect yourself, how to feel safe, how to feel ready to open up to intimacy without any loss of self or compromising of self. And there's also, okay, so the eighth house is also to do with money. It's also to do with big organisations to do with money. It can be to do with inheritances, to do with taxes, to do with um, banks and loans and bursaries and grants, anything of that nature. So 
you've had Jupiter expanding that area as well. So it's possible that you've had some kind of money that's come in that's helped to support you in your vision or that you've seen, you know, a greater, you've had a greater sense of being able to handle money in the longer term sense or in the larger sense that you know not just getting by from day to day but okay I'm going to invest in this property or I, the investment that I had in this is beginning to pay off or oh somebody's just gifted me a certain amount of money and therefore I can plan and build on this type of future something like that and if not then you could come to a point where you've expanded your vision enough to be able to feel as if you, you'd feel quite justified in asking for a loan or a grant or a bursary or something like that that will enable you to invest in your beliefs when this uh, which is the transit that's opening up now which is with Jupiter going with Jupiter in your ninth house and through most of 2018 you should be able to expand your vision expand and invest in what you believe is important in life possibly invest in some kind of higher education or just gaining of skills or honing your skill set that you already have or publishing or broadcasting or something of that nature you might be looking for an advance from a publisher or wanting some kind of a, a loan in order to self-publish that sort of thing so it's going to be a very exciting and very interesting year. Let's see what the cards say about what your potential is for actually achieving some of those things. And for you, I'm going straight to the colour cards because you do actually live in a universe of energy and colour quite often, whether you see it that way or not. So I'm just going to try to work very vibrationally for you. Okay, so we're stopping there. So we're going to go with past, present future and the beginning, middle and end of 2018. So you've got all colour cards there. So the past. Strengthen your faith. Okay, so you are the sign that is very much connected with faith, ideas of faith and um, spirituality and you know, all of those nebulous things pe that other people don't always have a handle on. You live them, you walk through them, you understand and feel karma sometimes, you feel other people's energy. You're very, um, very much aware that there is another dimension, that there are other qualities to life that must be honoured and must be um, taken into consideration in your decision making, in the way that you go through life, in the way that you have your relationships, in the way that you live, where you live, how you work, all of these things. So you have been recently strengthening your faith, strengthening your belief that your understandings are correct, strengthening your faith and your belief in yourself and strengthening even your faith and your belief in those nebulous things. So your spirituality could have been receiving an extra boost, but definitely your faith in life has come into question. And through that faith, you've been learning how to attract abundance. And you're in a place now where you are seeing abundance differently. You're, you have a different understanding of it. You, so you may find that because you've worked with this these eight house energies and you've received some kind of um, financial security that you feel a lot better about abundance or you could find that you're still waiting for that and um, but you're waiting in a, a spirit of faith or you could find that because you now have decided that you're going to apply for something that will give you the support that you need you feel a greater sense of ah, peace because abundance can bring peace because abundance really, in a sense, is just the ability to do what you need to do, what you want or desire to do, when and how and with whom you want and feel you need or desire to do it. It's freedom, okay? So there is a sense of that abundance within you, even if it's not reflected in your outer life. And if it is in your outer life, then all to the good. One way or another, 
these are your experiences at the moment, this is what you're exploring. And in the future you're going to be establishing good boundaries that will allow you to bring your legacy out into the world. So this is just your general past, present and future influence with regard to what's coming in 2018 and how, um, how those influences will reflect that. So that's great because if you are looking to um, to bring a work out into the world or bring or share your beliefs in the world or get published or increase your education you will need to have new structures in place and you will need to enforce some boundaries you will need to be very clear with yourself and with others that your life is changing that you need to establish new routines free yourself from pain that's the first part of the year so the first part of the year you're going to be thinking about um, you're going to stop focus on ending suffering and you're going to start focus on creating joy. That's what I feel. Because free yourself from pain, it almost have, has negative connotations where you may have been dwelling a little bit on the past and on difficult challenges that you've had in this lifetime. And this is what you're being asked to do now, to adjust your consciousness to a consciousness of no longer being someone who is finding out how to get by and make do leaping into abundance and no longer seeing yourself as someone who is trying to get rid of pain but leaping into joy. The middle of the year, awaken your passion. So whatever it is that you've come to do, that you've been working on, that Saturn has woken you up to as your leg legacy, as your true career, you are your passion for that I feel is possibly going to take shape and shift you and move you in, a, in another direction throughout the year. In other words, in terms of what you thought was possible for you. Not a new career, but just a new direction, a new vision for yourself. So you, it's almost like um, when you start to believe. That's the only way that I can describe it. When you start to believe and you throw yourself into your passion again and you really start to make it happen this time. So if you've let it go a little bit or if you've not been, you know, if you've been judging yourself or not sure or, you know, thinking, is it really worth it? You awaken your passion again throughout the year. And then the end of the year, overcome your challenges. OK, so that's wonderful because what that says to me in that context is that through awakening your passion, through really committing to your passion, through believing again in what you do, you get away from all of this pain consciousness, you overcome everything, you allow your passion, you allow what you do in life to lift you out of any small thinking and destructive thoughts and you know old dark um, thoughts and energy. And, and you just move on, move on, move on in life altogether. Have an upgrade and accept the upgrade this time. Okay, lovely. I hope that helps you and have a fantastic 2018. I'm doing my personal year ahead 2018 readings um, where I go into much more detail to your into your specific situation, reading your energy, connecting with your guides, connecting with my guides and um, just answering any questions that you might have. So have a look at the link below and hopefully I will be speaking to you soon. Otherwise, have a fantastic year and take good care. Bye bye.